What is happening, everyone? Today I've got a little Wooster action for you, but first, I want to give you once again the Discord channel invitation. I need to give you my apologies because the last one I provided with you, it was good for a little while, and then we made some major changes to the Discord channel, and I think when we did that, it killed the old Discord invite. But this one works perfectly fine, it's good to go, and I want to give some special thanks right now. I want to give some special thanks to uh, both Cloud Striker and Captain Storm Seas. They have taken up the mantle and are forging forward as the moderators for the Zoop Discord right now. Thank you two so much, and thank you all that decided to answer the call and ask if you could be mods. Uh, they just happened to get in first, and since this is a small channel right now, I really don't need more. But in the future, if I do, I will reach out to those that emailed me. So what you're watching right now is I'm opening some of these crates to show you if these Go Navy crates are worth purchasing. Then we're gonna get right into some Wooster action, and this is to show you that the Wooster is a ship that if you're in a division, if you're with players that can aid you and support you, the Wooster will do really good things for you. If you're not though, the Wooster is kind of a weaker ship, but mainly I just wanted to show you this because I've got that awesome, awesome American Eagle camouflage on the Wooster. Great round, but I think this does highlight how devastating both the Wooster and the Minotaur can be when teamed up with each other. Didn't work out as a win for us, but still it was an absolutely fun round. I did pretty decent for my part. And again, it just kind of highlights the little idiosyncrasies about the Wooster. So sit tight. Here's the link for the Discord channel. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you all in the channel. Please come out. Please come out. This is for you. It's for you all to kick back and have a good time. Anyhow, I am out. Um, all right. So... What we've got here is I've got 15 of the Go Navy crates. I'm going to open these one after one, and we're going to we're going to see what's in them, and this is going to give you an idea if these are actually worth purchasing um, because these are the premium ones, not the ones that you win throughout the mission. These are the ones that you actually buy in shops. So 15 of these, we're going to see we're going to see what I get, and this will give you an idea of what you get. So beginning with number one. So 20, 24 of the Red Dragons, that's not bad. And then 10 of these Shark Tokens and 10 of these Eagle Tokens. So um, those obviously can be used to redeem things such as permanent camouflage and everything else. I guess it depends what you get, whether or not you want these. So moving on to the next crate, um, 12 Red Dragons. Kind of a decrease there. Again, 10, 10 tokens each. Next one. We've got 12 more tokens to 12, wow, 12 red dragons. It's all about the red dragons, but that's good though. That's a lot of XP stuff right there. You can't go wrong with that. 10 more sharks, 10 more jets. Sharks in the jets. <laughs> I, I, I can't help thinking that from now on. I mean, it's the, uh, I know. It's the sharks well, in the they, jets. Every time somebody says they're on team shark, I'm always thinking like in the jets. And you gotta start snapping or something like that, yeah. you know, down an alleyway. And then you break out into a synchronized dance fight. Exactly. That's, that's what needs to happen in World of Warships. Everybody just needs to line up single file and start firing their guns at the same time. So, hey, uh, <laughs> hey, Cloud Striker. Cloud Striker, uh, thank you for the follow. And uh, Cloud Striker is in talks to be one of the mods as well um, for the um, Discord channel that is now open and somewhat functioning correctly, which, uh, you know, kind of a nice thing. And um, that is underway finally. And I actually, I need to thank Captain Storm Seas while I'm here because uh, he is taking kind of the lead moderator duty. Um, duty. Oh, I said oh. duty. Yeah. Duty. Um, duty. But no, he, he really went a long way to get the uh, Discord up and running. So, Major thanks to uh, Captain Storm Seas, and uh, he's your go-to guy if you're interested in modding, um, I guess. Well, thank you, Captain Storm Seas. Ah, here we go. Something different, finally. 24 Wyvern flags, and of course, 10 tokens and 10 tokens. So, um, kind of sucks that I went from getting 24 to only 12 in a crate. Kind of interesting right there. And again, this is what you get when you buy in Storm. So, this is uh, an idea 
Uh, Mr. Milmit13, thanks for the follow, thanks for showing up. Uh, and we're making our way to trying to finish up these crates right here. I just want to give you all an idea of what you can get in them. And we'll see what I can purchase with these uh, tokens. There's another 24 wyvern, which I only really use for the Missouri because, like, it's the best thing to use with the Missouri because you wind up with, like, 2 million credits around. Uh, moving on. Just six credits left. We're just going to rapid fire open these. Uh, there's those nice dragon flags, but only 12 of them. So it looks like no matter what, you get 10 tokens each if you purchase these in shop, which... Um, depending on what you get, that's not necessarily a bad thing. We're going to find out right now, here in a second, what you can purchase with those. Uh, because I am interested how much you need, um, to get the various items. There's another 12 Wyvern. No doubloons or anything. Um, I don't think there's a chance for premium ships, so... Honestly, not as strong as crates as in the past. Um, de definitely not as... I don't want to say not as good, but... Definitely not like the Christmas and Halloween crates. Uh, there's some 24 Ouroboros. What else do we have right here? Almost done with these. You've got 12 more of the dragon. I got like I got like 70 dragons off of these 15 crates. So that's, that's pretty good, right? So it looks like by the time this is going to be done, I'm going to have 150 uh, the shark crates, or uh, shark tokens, and 150 of the... Uh, I think those are the first hydras I got, which those are the best ones in my opinion. So... Um, that's what you get. So out of 15 crates, 150 tokens for each team and uh, various assortment of the uh, good signals. Let's see, uh, let's see what we can spin this on, if it's enough to actually get anything. Actually, actually I, have a, I have a thing to mention. Here is the, the Wavern flags. Yes. Is the, uh, some of the, uh, one of the step, I think it's like step two of all the legendary upgrades, is uh, you have to earn credits with each ship. Oh, well, there you go. So... That's a, that's a use for them other than your Missouri. I think you can purchase this stuff in the arsenal. Um, so we're going to take a look in here real quick. Maybe. Uh, go Navy. Here we go. 18. All right. So, yes. Um, 150 tokens is enough to purchase the various items. So I am going to go ahead and purchase the, uh, the Wooster permanent camouflage with the 150 eagle. Uh, or do I want the... Des Moines, no, no, got to go with this. I, I think that's what we have to go with. So we're going to exchange those and go ahead and get some uh, permanent camo for Mr. Wooster. Wooster. And it's taking a while to purchase this for some reason. Good Lord, what is going on here? Please tell me this did not somehow crash the game. That would be quite funny. It doesn't want your dirty money. No, it doesn't want my dirty uh, money, and it doesn't want to give me my Wooster Eagle. Uh... Well, at least I can escape for now. Did it at least give it to me? Uh, camouflage edition. Yeah, I got it. All right, let's go ahead and put that on the Wooster. And shall I take that out right off the bat? I, I really don't like playing the Wooster because I... Um... It's it's a gl not even a glass cannon. It's just made of glass. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, equip that camouflage. We have to, right? And uh, view it in all its glory. Glory. Absolutely glorious. Glorious. Uh, Twitch the glitch said it crashed his earlier. Maybe it's just because your name's Twitch the glitch. Yeah, I'm really. kidding. You're out. I'm, I'm kind of asking for it I'm, for the name like that. I'm kidding, but that is a, that is actually a pretty cool game. I just love how it says "Don't tread on me" on the side of this. Absolutely love it. And that's pretty awesome. Yeah. No, this ship, this ship is uh, pretty badass. I I gotta admit, I'm not one for the uh, crazy camouflages or anything, but this one with the giant eagle screaming off the bow, I I would have to yeah. say I'm a fan. And the the cluster of eagles up front. <laughs> Just, uh, no, I'll be honest, it's, it's kind of, they're kind of growing on me. And the, uh, the the flag draped across the side of the ship. This is just a glorious, glorious camouflage pattern right here. Oh, this camouflage is glorious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, is it, 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 Twitch the Glitch's in-game name is Commander Twitchy. Nice. Um, I think Maybe we should go somewhere, find a place to prop up, and just rain, mm -hmm. rain shells. Mm -hmm. And I'll, uh... Um... I'm feeling C. Yeah, I'm hoping you guys were going to say C. All right, all right, we'll go C. B is never... B, I don't... Eh. I don't like B as a destroyer, you know what I'm saying? You don't like B as a destroyer? No, you gotta, like, 
shove yourself into that channel. Oh, EU hasn't chosen yet? No kidding. Hey, Grease Monkey, thanks for the follow. Thanks for showing up. Glad to have you here. That's crazy. I didn't... I did, I, well, I, I guess the NA is always ahead of EU for patches for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. It's one of those bizarre quirks that, you know, even though the game emanates out of... Uh, Russia and Belarus, we wind up getting that stuff first, which I guess you got to give us something, right? I think EU has the largest following of this game. Hey, Cloud Striker, thank you for the host. Um, no, I think Russia has a huge following, I know that. Well, I mean, Russian bias and all that. Which, by the way, you know, um, with this whole CC ring contest going on, um, which I, I really don't feel I have a snowball's chance in hell of winning. Um, mm. Because, you know, up against the likes of Jingles, which obvious front runner and obvious favorite. But you know what I've said? There are two dark horses in this race that I would yeah, not... I, mean, I heard they, they did the math on it, and it, Jingles does not have that much of an edge. I don't, I don't, I don't believe because that. I don't, not, I don't believe that. His, fo his followers... So his followers will come around for him, and most of my followers started following Jingles, so I don't begrudge anyone that votes for him knowing that. I mean, I'm totally fine with Massive that. Storm moving in. Um, but the the Russian the Russian CCs never underestimate Russia's ability to pull for their own, and I think those two might be the dark horses in this whole uh, ring competition. I really would not be surprised. Hey, uh, hey, Proteus, you missed what I just said uh, a little bit ago. I'm drinking Stone Brewing Woot Stout tonight. It is a collaboration between uh, Will Wheaton, everybody knows Will Wheaton, uh, Drew Curtis, and Greg Koch. Wesley. So, yeah. So, uh, hey, Chuck, go and get in there, Chuck. It's, uh, it's right. actually a pretty good beer. You should be safe. You're safe from radar, I think, because uh, I've got like nine clicks. And I've got hydro and radar yeah, and everything good. Oh, you're spotted? We'll pop your smoke and uh, let's. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna. So someone's in here with me. All right. Uh, do you need me to pop radar? Torpedoes to starboard. Oh, hey, hey. Torpedoes to starboard. So I'm gonna pop uh, hydro right now. I got my hydro up. I think this guy is probably regretting his life choices at the moment. Ah, I got the jack and <laughs> off to a great start. Uh, let's focus on the Satago over here. Yep. This may be the dirtiest matchup in the game. He's like, nope, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> yep, I've got 12 CCT craze to give away. Chuck, can you, uh... My engine's broken. I'll be there in a moment. My engine's broken. It's broken. I assume you're going to need, need some smoke. Uh, we're going to need some spotting here. Uh, so i got 45 seconds left on smoke. All right. Well, I'm spotting right now. It's the smoke screen over there that's called... Yeah, I'm going to swing by and drop it. No, just let me know when. While you're coming. Swing by and go ahead and drop it when you're capping. Okay, here it comes. Look, look at all the shells flying at this guy. You see the torps? Yeah, I see the torps backing up. Oh, no, the torps stopped. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the smoke. And this really just highlights, um, this really highlights how the Wooster relies on other players. I mean, if, if you don't have a division working with you, the Wooster is like a no-go. Can you get some torps out on that, uh, FDG? Yeah, I'm just trying to get a little bit of flank. A little flanky flank. Let's make him regret his life choices.
This may be one of the dirtiest. Oh my gosh, it's just so dirty. All right, let's focus <laughs> focus on the other one right now. If he if he still decides to stay here with us. How are you looking on your uh How are you looking on your uh, uh, smoke right now? Uh, mine will. Mine is back up and ready. Oh, excellent. Well, you might need to pop it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, pop it. Come on, light, light on fire. I, I assume you're not talking to me right there, right? Uh, wipe just came up. Ah, aww. Aww. So despite my poor aim right now, because uh, I haven't been playing in a little while, um, again, this, this really highlights just how bad a Wooster and Minotaur teamed up can do. Oh, the shells. So many shells. And he's gone. Alright, moving on. Montana. How are you on smoke? Uh, I can look at that for myself, I guess. I'm sure it won't be long before he decides to leave. Probably... I feel like the only players that are getting sunk are on this side of the map for some reason. Mm. There's a fire. Finally. Chuck, is your smoke almost back up? It is, but I'm so far away He's from right far away from You're gonna you're probably gonna need to get back uh, uh It's alright, Biz Bismarck's rolling in on this uh Monty. Yeah, yeah, I'm not too concerned right now. I don't think Monty's gonna be around here much longer. So again, yes, this highlights just the the Wooster. The Wooster can be a really good ship, but you really have to you have to have a division that has competent players in it, or at least players you know you can work well with in it. I wouldn't say we're competent most of the time, but. Um, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, my trigger finger is uh, kind of killing me right now. The sad thing is we might wind up losing this. Uh, we're not losing. Get the uh, Richelieu behind us. To the west. We need to get into B. Yes, we do. Oh, and I'm not really strong enough to take him on uh, one by, you know. I This thing is just a uh, pretty much a glass shell. Glass. Yeah, it, it's, uh... it's it's not even a glass canyon. These guns are more like uh, they're not not as bad as peace shooters. And IFHE is an absolute must on them. Um, you know what? Let's pop that radar. Hello. Can you see him? Oh yeah, I, I popped my radar. Okay. And I set him on fire. Oh, me. Take him down, take him down, take him down. Just remember you got a cag to your right right there. Okay. All right, let's push into B. Uh, Torps out from the CAG. Hydro is up. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes direct front. Where's our team at right now? Oh, you're gonna need some help here. Yeah. 
Can you, can you pop your, uh, oh, you're gone? I just got deleted, yeah. I did too. Uh, we might be in trouble at this point. Oh yeah. Still though, that was pretty sick over at C though. Oh, that's absolutely disgusting. This uh, tsunami coming in did not do us any favors. No, it didn't. I might try to back up if I can to help with this CAG. He's already hit his torpedoes. So I know. They might be reloaded by now. What is he doing? Mm -hmm. I think he's rushing me. Yeah, you can wreck him. It's actually not a wall spin. No, it's not. Okay. Whatever. Nice shot, Sue. Whatever. I, I guess he wanted to, uh, die. Yeah. No, it's not a loss yet. <laughs> Shit. Just don't tread on me, baby. Do not tread on me. Yeah, it's gonna be, though. This Bismarck, Bismarck's done. Or one of the Bismarck's is done. What is our play here? I, that, that the, is... other one, the other one's gonna be no help whatsoever. But you got a Worcester and a Des Moines on the other side of there. You got to kill them both fast. But we're in B right now. You're about to get surrounded in a pincer. You can do it, though. I don't have the what angle on him. Yeah, you guys aren't doing any damage to that Worcester. Here comes the Des Moines poking his head out. That's what I'm afraid of right there. Come on now. Is that other Wooster gone? Yeah. Oh. Well. <laughs> Bugger. <laughs> yeah, it's five against two. It's not really good. This guy's just basically farming uh, defended ribbons from you. Oh, that hurt. Well, an angled Des Moines is too much of a match for a... You are the last uh, yes, it is. Oh, well. That's unfortunate. That's a good round, though. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't horrible. Um, I earned points for the cause. I earn, uh, yeah. I earn points for the cause. Not a bad round. 162k yeah, damage. Yeah, almost yeah, had almost had the Kraken. Almost. Yeah. I'm glad I got that one kill from you then. <laughs> oh, you stole a kill yeah. from me? That's unfortunate. Well, I wouldn't say I stole a kill, but we, you know, I got the credit for it. But this this does highlight how how good the Wooster can be in a division with players working together. But had I not been in a division with players working together, my survivability probably would have been nothing. Um, it, it would not have been nearly as good as this, so... Um.